Hello YouTube, Sidekick here. Time for another quick episode of Iron Bombing Tips and Tricks. We're back in uh, the trusty A4E Skyhawk. We're flying an alpha version of the external flight model today because it includes the functionality of the CP741 bombing computer and that's what we're going to take a look at today. So just getting ourselves uh, set up and uh, we'll get ourselves fenced in here in a sec and we'll talk about how the bombing computer works. Okay, so we'll uh, just get some things turned on. Get the HSI reading the nav computer. Definitely important to turn the radar to air to ground. If we're going to use the bombing computer, got to do that. Let's get fenced in. We're just carrying a load of Mark 82s on the three inside pylons, and we're going to drop them in pairs. So we're all set up there. So, as I said, this is an alpha version of the external flight model for the A4E. Um, the alpha version is not available anymore after the testing event this past Saturday. Uh, but the CP741 is a really interesting part of the EFM, and so the developers have said that I could uh, make a video showing you how that functionality works. Um, the EFM release schedule uh, has not been set yet, but when there is news on that, um, I will certainly let you guys know because it's a very exciting development and I know we're all looking forward to it. So we're just getting up close to the range now and while we're doing that I'll explain a little bit about how the uh, CP741 works. So the way the CP741 works is it takes a look at the ground that is under our reticle when we press and hold the pickle button. We can have the reticle depressed to any um, sight angle that we want. Uh, it's usually, a, I find it's helpful to have it depressed a little bit so you don't have to dive as steeply to designate the target. So once the target is designated, we will hold the pickle button and the CP741 will begin calculating the range and comparing that to the flight characteristics of the bombs we're carrying and it'll decide when to drop the bomb so that they will fly to the target. It won't do anything to correct for errors in attitude though, so if we yaw off the target um, then we will end up missing left or right, but it will ensure that the bombs fly the correct distance to hit the target and it uses uh, a bunch of things to do that, but particularly the air to ground radar. So it's important to have the radar switch to air to ground, set the reticle to any one uh, setting that you want, and roll in as normal. And what we're going to do is walk the reticle up to the target, press and hold the pickle button, and then pull up gently until the bombs release. So, same as usual, we do need to get ourselves lined up well and straight. Wings level. And get the reticle up to the target and pickle. And pull up gently until the bombs go. The lab's light lo lights when you start pickling the target and it goes out when the bombs are dropped and you can see that we got eh, that's not bad but I think we can do better than that I think uh, part of the issue was that I uh, was not quite on the target I think honestly I pickled a little bit late uh, and I don't think my wings were entirely level so that's why we we're a little bit to the right and a little bit long so we'll go around we'll give it another shot So I think it's fair to say that uh, putting this bombing computer in was one of the really pleasant surprises at the alpha testing event. Uh, on Saturday it, uh, it adds a whole new dimension to flying the Skyhawk. Uh, I think all the work that went into it has been extremely worthwhile, uh, along with all the other work that's gone to this EFM. It's really taken the Skyhawk to a new level and uh, I know I'm really excited to uh, know when it's going to be made part of the official release. Hopefully uh, that'll be soon. Okay, so we're going up. We're going to come around. You know, one of the things you'll notice in the EFM, for instance, I'm not getting as much altitude um, as I will probably when I have fewer bombs, because again, it's the EFM and the plane is recognizing the weight of all those extra stores that it's carrying. So, uh, still got enough height to do a decent run here. So, we'll come in, we'll roll in. See if we can be a little bit better this time. So even with the CP741, it's really important to fly a nice smooth approach. Important to give yourself lots of time to make sure you get an accurate pickle. And then to make sure that your wings are level and your 
pull up is smooth so that you're not changing the, the azimuth of the bomb. So let's get it on and pickle and there they go. Yeah, it was better. So again, a little bit to the left, just ever so slightly. You know, that's probably just because there was a wings weren't completely level. We were jockeying around a little bit there at the end, but that was a better drop. Let's go around and try it again. Got two more drops we can do. Let's see how we do. So by all means, if anybody who's watching this video participated in the alpha testing event uh, and has some thoughts to share about using the CP741, please feel free to contribute them. We'll all get a chance to use it eventually, but uh, anybody who has some experience, love to hear uh, how you found using it when you had a chance. Okay, so as you can see, we're pulling up a little bit more steeply this time because, again, we're down to half our original bomb load. Okay, we'll pick up the target and come around here okay get ourselves straightened out a little bit getting a good spot for the roll in right about there let's roll it in down onto the target or the line to the target roll out smoothly maybe more smoothly than that okay we're a little off get it on there pickle and gone now I'm willing to bet I muck, muck that up because I was banking as I went through that yeah so that time we were a little bit to the left, not bad for range, but uh, off to the left, and that was just because I wasn't flying smoothly through the approach there. So um, it's pretty sensitive to flying a good approach. Um, as with, with all things uh, in the iron bombing world, it really pays to get set up well. It's not so much what you do at the end when you're pressing the pickle, it's what you do uh, getting yourself set up for that. So we got one more shot here. Let's uh, go up again with our last two palms, see if we can get a better run. That's looking pretty good. Let's take a look to pick up the target. Coming around here. Have a look just a little. Get ourselves in a good spot for the roll in. Okay, we gotta make sure we get lined up early. Don't want to be making a lot of late corrections. Don't want to be banking through the drop. So let's try and be smoother here. Try and get ourselves in a good spot. That's looking good. Now wait until we're over the target. And pickle, pull gently, and they're gone. Outstanding. Yeah, that's the kind of result we want, and I think the kind of result we can get consistently with the CP741. Um, doesn't mean you don't do all the things you normally do when you're dropping iron bombs, including that well-planned uh, approach and a nice smooth uh, run-in, uh, but it definitely takes some of the guesswork out of when to drop the bombs, and uh, that's going to be very welcome in the A4 Skyhawk. I think. Uh, I think the CP741 is an excellent addition to the Skyhawk. Uh, I hope you guys all get a chance to try it out uh, really soon. If uh, you want to stay up with the latest news about the Skyhawk, uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, there will be videos when there is news. Uh, for now, this is going to be Sidekick. 
signing off.